Hi guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. This is Sachin Malayala. In this particular video, I'll be giving you all the details about CUET 2022. So, in order to get admission in the 45 central universities across India, you need to write the exam CUET Central University Entrance Test. Previously, they used to give based on admission. Previously, they used to give admission based on 12 score, some different entrance exams, JEE mains, and a lot other ways. But uh, UGC University Grants Commission have finalized according to New Education Policy 2020 is only one entrance test for all the central universities and UGC also asked the state level colleges uh, if you want to take admission based on this particular score you can also take it's up to your wish so this is what is suggested for the colleges in the state level and uh, now let me just give you the details about CUET in brief the Algar batch for class 11th and 12th JEE mains and advanced 2024 and for 2022 batch quick concept of revision batch it's starting from 30th March it's a kind of crash course for all those who are preparing for JE 2022 so these are all the fa faculty like Levin Thulumba Prasanth Jain Neil Mani Mishri Vastav early level batch for 2023 these are all the faculty who's going to take that batch if you guys wanted to join any of these three batches links in the description and you can use my code Charan Vaiti for which you will be getting 10% insta discount on all subscriptions of an academy an academy light all India online test series for IDJ means and advanced so based on the marks you get the, those are the percentiles so you can know where you stand so you can take up to 23 tests for 2022 JE and 48 tests for 2023 IIT JE. So this is subscription is starting from triple nine rupees. So you can subscribe now using the link in the description and my referral code Charan Vaiti. So IDJ Super 30 test series top quality questions created by top educators full and final revision for JE 2022 every week 50 lucky winners will get surprise gifts so these are 30 minutes 15 questions like starting from 28th March 29th March and 30th March 3 days at 6 p.m. single window opportunity for all those students who wanted to get admission in central universities so it's a computer based test and you will be having this test across 13 languages in regional languages because this exam is going to be all India level and the sing, uh, second thing is like it all I, as I already said 45 universities will give admissions based on the score so 45 universities includes also Delhi University you know how much uh, popular the Delhi University is and the second thing is like uh, application will be starting from 2nd April it will be ending on 30th April according to some sources like CUET that is Central University entrance test will be somewhere around in July 1st week so this is what the expected date of CUET and uh, you will be having uh, four sections like section 1A 1B 2 and 3 so this is how the exam is going to be consisting of and see choosing options from each section is not mandatory choices should match the requirements of the desired universities for example if you are going to Delhi University if they says that you should have uh, the have the exam written in English and Japanese and uh, maths physics chemistry and uh, what we can say general test so if that is the case what you have to do is, is like in section 1a you will be having 13 languages so what are those 13 languages so let me just show you this Telugu Tamil uh, Kannada Malayalam Marathi Gujarati Odia Bengal Ashamis Punjabi English Hindi and Urdu so what you will select as a as the Delhi University requires uh, English you will select English first okay that is fine you can give the 45 minutes exam for which you will be having like 50 questions you need to attend 40 so it's like reading comprehension in section 2 uh, section 1b as Delhi University also requires Japanese for example I'm saying uh, so in that case in out of 19 languages like uh, French Spanish German Japanese Russian Chinese Nepali Persian Italian it's up to you out of these 19 languages if that university requires any of these languages for this eligibility you need to choose for sure if they don't require you need not to choose that is what mentioned here in the exam see choosing options from each section is not mandatory Cho choices should match the requirements of the desired university so if they don't need those languages no need of uh, writing that exam that particular section you can just uh, only write uh, whatever they whatever that university require in which you want the admission and in section 2b for example if uh, they uh, you are going for engineering things and you are like uh, that that college is like uh, if you are uh, having a good score from maths physics chemistry that is more than enough they say like that in section 2 you need to select only maths physics chemistry so out of 27 subjects you have so 27 domains in that particular section 2 you can select at max 6 so i suggest go for maths physics chemistry that would be better because you guys were preparing for boards you guys will be preparing for j mains and a lot of other exams so that will make your work easy and you can easily write your exam properly and when it comes to section 3 it's a general test it includes general knowledge logical reasoning and current efforts a lot of other general things arithmetic algebra geometry mensuration all these things will be there it will be of 60 minutes so that is how the exam is going to be like you will be having 75 questions and you need to attempt 60 questions this is section 3 so you need to give according to the uh, eligibility criteria of desired universities so mode of test is computer based test i already said test pattern objective medium is 13 
languages 13 different languages exam is going to be there this is the syllabus section 1a one uh, section 2 and section 3 like grade 8 uh, menstruation simple application quantitative reasoning all till till grade 8 and paper level will be like ncrt class 12 only and the languages to be tested through reading comprehension okay and registration will start from 2nd april so here they give first april after first april that is second april and the level of questions will be till 12th only ncrt level and number of attempts is so it depends on the university again if that university at allows uh, droppers also in that case previously uh, last year pass out students also can write the cue exam if that university doesn't allow if another uni university allows for that university you can write this exam and just submit the score there it's up to the university rules and or regulations that's it for this video guys uh, if you find this as a time worthy video please do like share and subscribe see you in the next one until then take care bye bye jai hind